Okay, here it is. Six hours of hard labor later. Definitely a time consuming thing to build. Not too shabby. This is a heat shield right here. This is just a rough draft of what I'm going to try to accomplish today. It's a two-chambered burner that's going to be bolted together. We have a plate that completely divides the combustion chambers. And here, let's just build it and we'll take a look at it during assembly. But that's the gist of it. We want a small, compact device that can use a blower like this here that I salvaged out of a vacuum cleaner. This is just for the test itself. I want a small blower and a nice little burner. So we're gonna see what we can do with these materials. This is gonna be our fuel line. And uh, let's check this out.
Okay, here's a quick look at where we're at. This casing has, has timing marks on it, so it has to be put together in a fairly specific manner. This is the preheat chamber, the air preheat chamber. This is the air preheated plate, which will hopefully get red hot. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. That there is our fuel input. Nothing fancy this time. Not yet anyway. This is the actual combustion cavity. And the reason why I'm assembling this in the manner we're looking at is because this will have to be taken apart and cleaned. So I want to run it for a while, take it apart, and then look at the buildup. We're going to run this thing on diesel to start off, so it ought to be pretty cool. It's fairly big, but uh, when it comes down to the total size of the, of the unit, since we're only going to have that small little blower over there, and set of air compressors hooked up to it, um, this thing's actually going to be very small. Kind of interested to see how it performs, if at all. This is a very small combustion chamber, and I've never done this before. I have a hunch it'll work if we get our flame holders right. 